What is up, Humanoid Nation? Today's reaction I'm going to be reacting to is Music Vibe. What happened to the artist of Death Row Records? I reacted to a video a while back about the Shook Knight video, but there was a problem with audio, so I couldn't put that in. So, on to the next one. What happened to the artist of Death Row Records? Shook Knight was a beast back then. Death Row Records was a massive beast back then. Growing up with them was so amazing. Anyways, I'll shut up now. Let's do this. After Tupac's death in 1996, they flew to the Bahamas to record an album. Who's day? And Shug gives his chain to Danny Boy and returns to the States. For the last few weeks, Knight has been running his empire from a cell in the Los Angeles County Jail. This guy is a, he awaits a real a hearing boss. On charges, he violated his probation from a particularly vicious assault case. He goes to jail and chaos ensues. No one knew what to do next, so many decided to leave, such as corrupt. When Shug went to jail, they're towing that car away. This is my new shit. Many left the label poor. Music, cars, and everything else were issued in the name of Death Row. All my cars was in Shug Night Day. Uh, you pulled on it. How many oh, cars man. did you have, Oh uh, yeah, Mr. Knight who? I'm not Mr. Knight. Therefore, they were forced to leave with empty pockets. And where's the money? Who controls the money? Sure. The roster of artists was huge, but... Johnny J, K, Solo, MC Hammer. You had MC Hammer? Prince, Ital Joe, Young Noble, Badass, Butch Cassie, The Realist, CJ Mack, YGT, The Top Dog, Crooked Eye, Mac Sean, Malky Bone, Spider Lock, Lisa Lopez. Okay, I know who that is. Mark Morrison, PD Pablo. As for the others, who the fuck? Okay. Growing up in the 90s, there was some people just came and gone. I, whatever their butt a badass. Whatever happened to CJ Mack, the top dog, Crooked Eye. Eh. Many didn't stay for long. For example, MC Hammer, who is famous for the song, You Can't Touch This. You can't touch this. Maybe stupid, but it's still this amazing. This day in death row was like this. <laughs> and many artists decided to leave after Tupac's death. Snoop Dogg said that he signed a contract with Death Row to make music and not to participate in gangster activity. A long time's passed since the Death Row Records era, but the artists' lives didn't end there, at least for these two guys who became world stars. Let's take Corrupt for example, at least for these two guys. I love Snoop, but... He is getting so old. There's wrinkles in him. I love him. I saw this at the Super Bowl. But damn, Snoop. I love you, man. Take care of yourself. Guys who became world stars. Let's take Corrupt, for example, a man who is not the main star of Death Row, but he left his mark on the rap industry. Eminem even included him in his top rappers of all time. JC, Tupac, and Biggie, Andre from Outcast, Janet, Corrupt. And Kendrick Lamar said corrupt influenced him. After he left, can I always can I just say it? I always confuse corrupt and Warren G. I don't know. I'm dumb. Growing up, I always mixed up the two. Death Row, he released his debut solo album titled Corruption. The release took eighth place on the Billboard charts. A year oh, damn, later, the streets as a mother comes out. The early 2000s, mid 2000s, mid 2000s, mid 2000s, mid 2000s, mid 2000s, on Dr. Dre's album. West Coast shit, nigga, overdosage, imperial pistols, ferocious. Damn, that Dr. Trey Chronic CD was fucking amazing. I don't know why I sold it. I want that back. Sure, I can look it up online, but I want the actual copy. Fuck a bitch, don't tease, bitch. Released another album, Space Boogie, Smoke, Odyssey, and then returned to Death Row Records, where he put out his fourth album, Against the Grain. I'm back, I'm Minute back. 14 selected, nigga. I'm back, I'm select your selections, nigga. I'm back. He even had a feud with Daz because Daz had a conflict with Suge Knight. 
I ain't fucking with it. I don't need to. Later, they made amends and released several projects under the famous duo, The Dog Pound. Party dance, diligent, my nigga, young got it. 12 day shot, he's shooting the party. And they be talking that boom, big boom. Yeah, this is a he one song from the dog pound. Doesn't forget about his solo like, career and good. still releases music. This year, he took part in the release of Rapture. Corrupt also actively starred in movies. Of course, they weren't the most mainstream, but caught still. up. I still remember caught up. God damn, half past dead was dumb as hell. And the song Seawalk was featured in GTA 5. This is a song that I always get RNG and corrupt confused with. Yeah. However, not everything is so smooth in his personal life. Corrupt has struggled with an alcohol addiction for many years. Although this isn't something he has really addressed publicly, it's managed to make it into the headlines anyway. According to reports, he was hospitalized after an alleged relapse that occurred while filming for Marriage That's Boot Camp. The show has since made the decision to ban alcohol. Medical doctor and someone who runs multiple substance abuse treatment facilities, I'd never advise a person who drinks as much as corrupt to stop cold turkey. As for Daz, who produced hits in Death Row, he also put out many releases, the last one being in 2018, which is called Smoke Me Out. I never heard of Daz Dillinger. In 2018, he up. had a beef with Kanye West because Ye began to support Trump. The hottest of all this is his diss on Kanye, and in addition, he said that his now ex-wife Kim Kardashian has so many dicks in the rap music industry. Fuck and your bitch. That bitch so much dick. You know what I mean? She probably ain't so dick because you be on one. Snigger scum, get back some nigga from the place that you made it from before you end up. He was also arrested for drug possession and faced up to 20 years. But thank god Daz has taken a plea deal that avoids jail time altogether. While that bodes well, Daz still walks away with 3 years of probation and has also paid a $1,000 fine. Damn. This year he retired from rap. Hip -hop okay, I need to look this guy up. Nate Dog as the king of Nate hooks. Dog. Oh Nate my god, Zach. rest in peace Nate Dog. His solo career can't really be called successful, but his hooks will forever remain in the hearts of hip hop fans. Yeah. Nate Dog wasn't successful. He was just there for the hooks for people's different videos. He has a great voice. But I don't think I've ever seen a Nate Dog solo CD. No, no. When he was still part of the Death Row label, nobody really gave two shits about his long-awaited debut solo release. Okay, so he Funk did Classic. have a... Okay. I need to look this up. He did have a solo album. Okay, okay, okay. All right. We gonna make some You can toss him when you're through. He had all the makings for success, but the label simply didn't finish printing the initial edition of the disc. Damn. And after three weeks, his release couldn't be found anywhere, so he decides to leave and create his own label, Dog Foundation, and only after two years was able to take the rights to his music back from Shug. And then he records a few more tracks and releases a double Man, G Funk classic. And despite his beautiful voice, he wasn't all nice in real life. He had a fight with his girlfriend who cheated on him, at least that's what Nate says. As a result, he locked her at home, and when her mother wanted to save her, he set her car on fire. God he was damn, released on a $1 million bail. Finally, he had some luck. The Electra record label offered him a contract, and they released Music and Me. Hey, OG. And then the group 2013 gathered again and put out their only album by the name of The Hard Way. And it's also worth mentioning Shake That, which he made with Eminem. Mm. To the one from the one to the three, I like good and I like good peace. so much. 
However, he oh, come on, in you gotta censor that shit. In July of 2006, Hale was charged with aggravated trespassing, telephone harassment, battery, dissuading a witness from reporting a crime, and violating a restraining order. God, On March man, 20th, 2008, after pleading guilty to invasion and battery, he lost his gun ownership rights for 10 years, received three years of probation, and was sent to participate in a domestic violence intervention program. In December of 2007, Nate suffered a stroke, as a result of which the left part of his body was paralyzed. Damn. The doctor said that this would not affect vocal abilities, and uh, gave their verdict. Bullshit. After rehabilitation, the singer will be able to fully recover. However, in the fall of 2008, he had another stroke. Damn. Friends and family of the artist did not lose hope, and raised funds for expensive rehabilitation therapy, so that Nate could walk American and talk medical. again. However, the complications that so followed sad. the cerebral hemorrhage turned out to be irreversible and led to the artist's death on March 15, 2011. The singer was buried at the Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Long Beach, where thousands of people gathered for a farewell ceremony. Doubling it in the night balls, that's when young girls go home. Such a beautiful Big voice. Don't smoke clothes. Such a beautiful voice. Now, how do you pronounce your name? Michelle. M say it again. Michelle. Michelle. Very okay. good. Why, <laughs> why does she sound like hooks from Police Academy? Soft spoken and shit. <laughs> Let's now talk about a woman by the name of Michelle. In Death Row, she often is. appeared in guest verses, such as in Run the Streets by Tupac. But I gotta do what I gotta do. Oh, and okay. in her entire career in Death Row, she released only one name, album in I 1998. Okay, I did grow up listening to her. I just didn't know her name. God damn, okay. But most of all, she is remembered in the label for her affairs with Dr. Dre and Suge Knight. At first, she dated Dr. Dre, but they broke up because of his love for alcohol. According to Michelle, him drinking led to physical violence, and once, he almost killed her with a gun. After such a bad relationship, she became closer to Suge, and he proposed to her when he was behind bars. After leaving prison, according to her, Suge became much more aggressive. She claims that the founder of Death Row Records hit her only once. This he dude made is her a beast. promise not to hit her again because she was too small. They have a child but aren't together anymore. They broke up because Shug did not divorce his previous wife. In 2016, she presented her lifetime biopic Surviving Compton, where she gave the details of Dre's abuse. Fix, you too stupid to do that? Dre himself apologized to the women he hurt, but Michelle herself did not accept the apology. As for the music, her discography is not big. I suggest we listen to her latest songs. The Lady of Rage was a real rapper. Many liked her style. Time when it comes to the lyrics, I get busy with mine. Uh -huh. Busy as a beaver, you best believe This grand deepest one with the speed of a cheetah meter. She featured like on many names, famous right? rappers' tracks, and in 1997, she released an album. Sickle, like sickle, you fancy like Nancy, you will son get ill son, rocket from Farmville to Tilden Pride. The album unfortunately was quickly forgotten, after which she left the label and in 2006 released the mixtape VA to LA. Damn, sounds great. Sounds like the brat from Missy Elliott. Michelle A? Okay, I need to look her up. Like, I grew up listening to her, I just didn't know it was her name. Then we could hear her in 2011 in the song Tragical. The gun in me, get it straight, nigga. Optimum, let's get it cracking. What's happening? What's popping, son? The last time she took part in recording a song was back in 2017. Inhospitable, unfuckwittable villain sent here to finish you. No subliminal, I'm just giving you fat. But she does take part in movies. What's wrong for me? Oh! My caption no. cleaners, okay. Mm -hmm. Never seen this one. Day Day, come on, Day Day. The last movie with her, Judas and the Black Messiah, 
was released in 2021. She had problems with her health, but she isn't young after all. Since 2017, she has been going to the doctor because of shortness of breath. Damn, and in 2017 alone, she was hospitalized five times. Damn. She spoke about her illness on Instagram, fibromyalgia, Shorgan syndrome, and idiopathic interstitial oh, lung God disease damn. with fibrosis, which means the lungs are progressively being scarred and they don't know why. That's a lot from one day you're good to the next day you're not. She once even fainted like that and lost consciousness, so let's wish her good health. Yeah, Danny boy. Oh, this guy. Okay. After All the right. breakup of Death Row, Danny Boy's career that went guy's south. Voice. Although he does sing well. But talent alone isn't enough. All in all, he put out a couple of singles, which were released a long time ago. Okay, I recognize that voice. I grew up with it. Again, I didn't know what his name was. Oh, I'm learning today. Too sweet for TV. In the streets, no, she keeps it true. But she's a bad girl. Left eye Lopez. All he was remembered for were some interesting statements. What was Michelle A's role during this whole time while you were a death row? Super bitch. <laughs> okay. Super bitch. If God is a man or a woman, but I definitely know that bitch is the devil. She destroyed lives. Snoop Dogg doesn't accept him because of his sexuality. Yeah, you got like real gay people, gay gay people on the album. So it's just a thing that maybe oh, Danny I'm boy not the type is of Danny boy is super gay gay. Like, what is that? What you saying? Duality. Yeah, you got like real gay people, gay gay people on the album. So it's just a thing that maybe I'm not the type of singer that uh, he likes. And also, for some reason, he told a personal story about how Jewel pleasured him with her mouth at the hotel when he wasn't even 18. You know, she's so worried about this little ass boy or something. You know, I'm just talking stuff back. And Jewel. before I probably could get the next little sisters out of my mouth, she had to pull my pants down. I can't remember back in the days when I did, but if you said I did it, I don't even remember. Danny Boy, that's Ozzy. Okay, okay. I didn't know he was under no age. Now, he trying to make me seem like I'm like law and order. Jewel's music career came to an Jules. end in the 2000s. Okay, Jewel's. I thought you meant Duel, like the, the singer Jewel's. In October of 2011, she published the memoir My Blood, My Sweat, My Tears. Okay, felt the same, but except there's two L's. That's not confusing at all, but whatever. Hey mom, which can we get the Jewel CD? Sure, you get Jewel. Knight prevented her from gaining another recording deal. In 2019, she almost died because of lung problems, and for the next three years, she fought for her life. One day, more than eight pounds of fluid was removed from her heart, Damn, lungs, eight pounds of and fluid. legs. Pump me until the I've been there before. It was fluid in my legs. That I, shit is not fun. So. Definitely not fun. And the doctor said that she did not have long to live. And I will be able to leave something positive. I need to check out her music. She sounds really great. On May 6, 2022, she died. Oh, she was shit. 53 years old. Don't cry, my baby. Okay. Don't cry, my baby. Come on, my baby, don't cry. I think that Dr. Dre, Tupac, and Snoop deserve a separate video, but still, let's go through the main moments in their lives. Dr. Dre left Death Row with nothing. After leaving, he released the album 2001. Great Steve. But sitting for the gangsters all across the world. Still. Hitting them corners and them lolos, girl. Still. Da -da 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 -da. It's the one and only Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg. He also helped Eminem and 50 Cent become popular artists. Stop the tape. This kid needs to be locked away. Get him. Dr. Dre, don't just the stand there. Operate. Honey in the club. Bottle full of bub. Mama, I got what you need. If you need to fill up. In 2009, he lost his son, who died of a drug overdose, and in 2021, he was hospitalized due to an aneurysm, and hip-hop fans around the world had a heart and I remember that. I thought Dr. Dre was going to die, but he didn't. But then DMX died a couple weeks later. 
fuck heart attack because of this news but thankfully he recovered dr dre became the first billionaire rapper after selling his company beats by dre to apple <laughs> oh my the first billionaire in hip hop right here from the motherfucking west coast believe it oh, oh shit nigga. His latest release is the album Compton. When I open up my book, I think about the world later. No ink in the pen, no lines on the paper. And also a mixtape for the GTA 5 game, in which he made a cameo, by the way. What? Like I'm just getting started. Two shots back for my daily departed. Uh, Where does he make a cameo in Grand Theft Auto oh, shit. 5? The same place that I saw them gods out in Panama. Crazy, bro. Yeah. Hey, put that straight to tape, man. Yeah, I like it. Despite such an early death, Tupac and his music continued to make noise in the rap industry even years later. Even years after his death. Almost 26 years have passed since God Pac's damn, death, 26. and as of 2015, worldwide sales of Pac's album amount to 80 million copies. During his lifetime, Shakur loved to donate money to charity, and often resented why some people can have dozens of houses and hundreds of millions of dollars, while some don't have a penny to their name. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, God, I miss this guy. His so mother good. decided to continue her child's legacy and, and founded the Tupac Amaru Shakur Charitable Foundation while also launching the Machiavelli branded clothing Machiavelli. line, the earnings from which go to the above mentioned fund. She also decided to continue her son's creative journey by creating a recording studio, Amaru Entertainment. Several posthumous albums have been released after his death. Time to question our lifestyle. Oh, this CD, man. This CD. Why did I sell the CD? Oh my god, I need I need a copy of this. Like I said, I can easily find it online, but I want to get a copy of it. Can we like it ain't no thing? So we've been kids wanna try now. The cop calls, look at how we come so far. Pitch of a high school dropout, rolling the double law. Recollect before my hood days I get a gospel. Oh, I play that so much. On April 15th, 2012, Tupac's hologram appeared at the Coachella Festival. I... God damn. This was a dark time in my life, 2012. My friend showed me this thing and like... Oh my god. This bringing me back tears. Oh shit. Four months of work have been put into Pac's hologram, and although its exact cost is not known, but according to approximate Ooh. estimates, its price is in the range from $100,000 to $400,000. Well, what about Snoop Dogg? Snoop, Snoop Dogg Dog. became a hip-hop legend, recording a bunch of hits after leaving Death Row. The pigs try to get at you. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Park it. Zip in the safe, flipping for pay. Tipping like I'm dripping in paint. Up front, focus like a leaf of. He also excelled as a film actor. We're gonna roll one. Dude's in a lot of movies. Just one. Just one. They won't care, huh? Man, just keep one. Holy. He has tons of commercial projects. Besides all this, he has become a streamer. He became famous for that one thing that he freaked out on. Live for eight hours. Bitch, if I have to, you know why. Am I still streaming? And this year he bought Death Row Records. The date of the deal has not been disclosed, but Snoop wants to make this brand great again. He has already released a new album oh, under I'm his own so label. Dog, I'm with the G Play something. Let me fuck you up just with this freestyle. He had disagreements with Suge Knight, which we talked about a few weeks ago in a separate video, but now they're good. He also says that they have mutual love and respect for each other. Snoop pays respects to Knight for giving a start to his career, and Knight responds with gratitude for what Snoop did for the label. Death Row Records, shit yeah, dog, we twist them. West Coast, baby, right back in your city. Time will tell whether Snoop will be able to return Death Row Records to its former glory. That would be I great. recommend you check that out would the be next so video about the story of Suge Knight. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, but yeah, Jesus, I don't know what else to say, but yeah, that hologram of Tupac, like I said, that was during a 
I was in a bad time in my life. And a friend showed that to me and like, it really made me better. Yeah, like I said, not getting into it, just a dark time in my life, but great video about what happened to Death Row Records. Glad that Snoop Dogg has it now. We'll see what he does with it. But anyways, that's it for now. Human Nation, Human Way Freak out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito.